Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Today, I am gonna show you guys how to make some killer backyard burgers. You guys stay tuned to see how these burgers come out. Doing them JP style. Check it out. So here we go, guys. I have got myself some ground chuck 80-20. Got this over at my local grocery store. Nothing fancy about it. We're just gonna make some hamburgers out of it. And when it comes to making hamburgers, you wanna stay away from, uh, well, you know, you do what you want, but you know, you, if you get meat that's too lean, like a 90, 10, or, or maybe even real, real lean, um, hamburger's not gonna come out as juicy and tender what adds the flavor to the meat to the hamburger is the fat you got to have the right proportion so hamburger meat guys you know uh, best ratio is, is an 80 20 but you pick and choose uh you know what you want right here i got some 80 20 and i want to start off seasoning it with my jpap okay it's a perfect blend of salt pepper uh, garlic for these hamburgers and we are going to just put sprinkle it right on top and we're going to start blending it together okay now you don't want to you don't want to beat your meat too much that just don't sound right but yeah you know if you beat your meat you know the meat will come out too what can i say be like meatloaf so and what you're shooting for is for a nice little patty. So once we get this meat seasoned up, you know, we'll be able to make us some real delicious patties. And I think I'm going to get rid of this one glove. So I can grab my bottle again. There we go. I'm going to get this meat seasoned up. So I got this uh, hamburger meat split up into one two three four five six seven i got eight burgers eight burgers it's roughly about uh, a little bit over two pounds in in here maybe about two and a half I'm not sure i can't remember uh but i want to say it is definitely over two pounds so what i did is i broke out my scale and each one of these hamburgers is roughly about five ounces you want to see what five ounces looks like guys look at that that is a five ounce piece of meat for hamburger or, or ha five ounces of hamburger meat you know five ounces is quite a bit so i'm making these into meatball size this one's actually a little bit smaller check that one out this one's about maybe closer to four ounces and what i'm going to do is i'm going to break out my hamburger press i'm going to press these into some some hamburgers i'm going to put these over here that way i show you how this hamburger press actually works so what I'm going to do, I'm going to break out this piece of a Ziploc bag, stick one of them on the inside, just like that. Get my hamburger press. And there we go. Just give it a nice little press, just like that. And voila. Got us a nice thick size hamburger now look at that don't that look good that looks really good i'm gonna get the rest of these done like that guys and uh next thing we're gonna fire up that weber performer and we're gonna make us some hamburgers so in addition to the jpap that we're gonna be using we are gonna be also adding the jp steak jp steak seasoning is a good beef seasoning and uh we are just and it's gonna it, this seasoning is gonna give it that nice little crust right on top so we just want to sprinkle just just a little bit up on top oh my gosh Ooh, smells so good very very good just a nice little dose of it here i want to get it flipped over and i'm going to get a little bit on the back side as well and these burgers guys these burgers are going to be good so I got a little bit of lump charcoal here I'm going to be using. This is actually 
which is actually B and B lump charcoal. There we go. I like B and B. B and B is a good lump charcoal. Gets hot really fast. And I'm gonna be using a couple of these uh, fire starters right here. You can use whichever fire starter you, you know you decide. You know it's your preference. You're just trying to get get it lit. Heck, if you just want to stick some newspaper under there, that'll work too. But here's what they good they look like. And we'll just put these bad boys down here on the bottom. Get it lit up with our torch. And we'll have us some hot coals in, in just a little bit. Lump charcoal's lit. We're gonna put it inside our uh, slow and sear for indirect cooking. There we go. Ooh, yes, sir, buddy. Ooh. I think I might have burned a couple of hairs there. Get this spread out. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, man, I just. Ooh. The heat feels so good. And uh, you know, it's, it's not charcoal. Well, it, it's not like it's not like charcoal briquettes. This is lump charcoal made from real oak. And man, this this smell just smells so good. Let me put this over here, and we'll put our grill grate back in, and we're gonna let that bad boy heat up. Give it a good cleaning, good scraping and then we'd be ready for some hamburgers. So let's go ahead and get these hamburgers in there. This thing is, this grill has gotten plenty hot. Got a nice little scraping on it. We put a little bit of canola oil right on my grill grate. That way my hamburgers don't stick. Now check this out guys. You see those burgers right there? That looks absolutely gorgeous. Got a little bit of butter right on top of them. Let's go ahead and get them in there. Ooh, yes, sir. So we're gonna cook these hamburgers over indirect heat. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. And uh, I hope I can fit eight patties in here. I may have to slide in there, try to squeeze it. There we go. Maybe I get this one right there. Try to get them as far away from the fire as possible because I'm going to cook them indirect. And when they get close to getting done, I'm going to pop them over them coals and get a nice sear on top of them. You know, we're going to get a little searing action going. And then we're going to make us a burger. We're close, guys. We're close. <laughs> Let's put a little sear on these burgers now, guys. And then we're gonna put a slice of cheese right on top of them. See how they come out. I mean, they look absolutely good. So here we go, here we go. Beautiful red color on these burgers too. Look at that. That butter just melted. We're gonna start with three of them right there. Maybe these other ones over here on this other side. Got us some good looking hamburgers here, guys. Woo. Get over there. Now, you're probably counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven burgers, like what happened to the eighth one? I ate it. Always gotta have a sacrificial burger there. Make sure the meat's done. When it comes to hamburger meat, guys, you know, for me, the hamburger meat's gotta be done all the way through, okay? Cause uh, it's not like a, it's not like a steak or, or you know, the kind of meats where you can go medium uh, well, medium rare. With hamburger meat, my preference, I, got, I gotta have them well done. So we're gonna get these seared up. Put us a slice of cheese. Oh yeah, look at them little grill marks on there. And we'll be ready to build us a burger. I mean, this is going to be a monster burger because these things are huge. Nice and big. I like them like that. There we go. We'll call it good just like that. And get them over here off of, off the... To the side. So I'm going to pick me four burgers right here. Get them a little bit separated. I like pepper jack. 
one of my favorite kind of cheeses and i'm gonna put that one right there actually i'm gonna put some kobe jack on 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 some of these other ones and we're gonna get this cheese nice and melted there we go and uh i'll just throw this one over here on there so let me get this lid closed up and this cheese is going to melt right on top and we're going to build us a killer burger you guys stay tuned here we go guys let's get this burger built got me a nice sesame seed bun right here got it nice and toasted right on the grill Gonna get some mayonnaise. Can't have a hamburger without mayonnaise. Just a little bit of mayonnaise right on top. Oh yes, sir. That looks good. And I'm using Hellman's. I like Hellman's. You know, but you know, you use what you want. Ketchup. Oh yeah. Get it squirted right on there. So let's start building us this burger. So I'm gonna start off first with a nice bed of lettuce. Got me nice thick tomato, man. Look at that tomato. That is a huge tomato. Let me get that bad boy right there. And I like onions, guys. So I'm gonna put a couple of these little onions right here, right on top. And heck, you can probably just eat that by itself with no bun on it. And I'm go gonna go for the patty that's got the Kobe, the Kobe Jack. There we go. Now look at that. Is that a burger or what? Mm. Man, I'm licking my fingers. My mouth is drooling. Oh, wait a minute. I'm forgetting something. I made some bacon this morning. Might as well put a couple slices of bacon right on top. There we go. Now we're ready. Now look at that. If that's not a killer burger, I don't know what is. Okay, that is absolutely gorgeous. It's time. I think that's just a little bit too big. I may have to cut it. My mouth is still watering. Nah, I tell you what, I'm gonna dive right in. Here we go. Mm. Oh my gosh. For being a backyard burger on the weekend, man, this is good. Dude, look how thick that burger is. I mean, that is a monster burger. I mean, really, really good. Mmm. Mmm. Jam up burger seasoned with my JPAP and then also with my JP steak. Two perfect blends for beef. You can't go wrong, guys, with, with that combination. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Do me a favor, hit that little subscribe button right there. And give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you're interested in any of the products that I have, visit the website. I put that link right there. And you can also visit my Amazon store. I got all these products in both places. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. I appreciate you guys very much. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you guys on the next cookout. I love you. I'm going to eat me a burger.